G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. How are you? So, um, even though I've got a smile on my face, I've got a bad project ahead of me. No, just joking, it's not that bad. Basically, the discus tank, if you look, there's no tiles. I need to move that tank one meter forward so I can tile where the tank is. Um, so, I need to move that tank with the water. I don't want to put fresh water in there. And also, the other thing is, that tank's hard plumbed into the wall, so I've got a lot of plumbing to disconnect. It's on canister filters. I honestly don't think I'm going to connect, disconnect any of the filtration. I'm going to try and just like inch it forward a couple of inches at a time and like bring the tank with it. Um, just because uh, it's all hard plumbed and it's only a meter. It shouldn't be too bad. Sorry about the change in lighting, but anyway. Let me show you what we've got to get up to before we even uh, start doing it. Alright, so we need 200 litre wine barrels before we get stuck into anything. Um, oh, that's overflowing. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Go down the drain faster. Um, we can move it. Hang on, I'm gonna. I'll come. Come back to recording. All right. So we need wine barrels. This wine barrel here is just full of water. Um, for the OGs, you'll know that this is actually when I tried to do a Daphne culture. Um, if anybody knows, um, 40 degree temperatures and then inside a tin shed, um, the water just gets way too hot for Daphnia. I tried to use a chiller, um, basically the, I think the copper in the core that I used to chill the water um, killed them. Uh, oh, that was, my that was like my third attempt. The first attempt I tried just plumbing the chiller into the tank and the Daphnia going through the chiller killed them. Um, so yeah, it was just... It was, a, it was an ultimate fail. I tried to... These are all my, this is my air pump graveyard. I basically tried to engineer something that um, wasn't going to work and it, it didn't work. It like sometimes you win on these engineering ideas, sometimes you don't. But anyway, I'm going to drain this IPC. I've got to try and get it out of this little gap here. I don't know if it's possible. Um, yes, I did put that... Um, barrel in that position before I put these IBCs in. So whether it's actually going to fit through here, I'm not 100% sure, but there's only one way to find out. Alright, let's give it a go, see if it'll come out. You guys have got front row seats. Short answer, no. We got it! Oh my god guys, I literally had to take the water filter off. Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah, still pretty clean. That one's not that old. If you guys watch the channel every day, you'll actually remember. I made like a 25 minute video just on changing filters. It was a bit of a laugh really. Um, oh, but anyway, uh, I really want to upgrade these to the 20 inch filters but that is not today's project. Alright, so now we've deleted that and I've made this abomination of a hose. I can probably like get it to sit under there. So because this pipe used to sit in that barrel and then there was a drain running to that, that pipe there. That pipe there runs to my reticulation system. So yeah, that's a MacGyver drain. Um, it actually goes like garden hose, garden hose to clear hose and then back to garden hose. So if I just had a piece of garden hose long enough, I could actually just swap that over. But unfortunately, that's not today's projects. Man, these dimmy comps are going fast, eh? I don't know if I've really shown them on the channel, maybe only the members. Oh, anyway, if you're not a member, um, these are my dimmy comps. <laughs> Alright, and just like that we've got two wine barrels, neither without their flaws, this one's got a big crack in it and it can only filter like there. 
Um, also, it's got a drain pipe. So this one used to be a filter. Um, this one's just got this little uh, hose fitting there, but that can stay there. Um, I don't know whether to drain the tank with the pump or whether just to use gravity feed hose because um, I feel like if I use the pump, I'm gonna suck up some fish because it's it's like a 15k pump. <laughs> Um, and I don't have one in between, so I might just use the hose. Alright, so the draining of the tank begins. Um, I've turned it off, obviously. Um, I need to drain it. I also need to drain the weir. So the weir is... Oh, the weir might actually have a leak at the bottom, which would be advantageous in this situation. Um, my plan is to try and drain it and not take the plants and rocks out and hopefully I can move it. But you guys will come along with me for that ride and we'll see how heavy it is. Um, I'm going to take the CO2 bottle out because it's empty. So I'm just going to take everything out of here that isn't attached to the tank. And then um, I've started clearing this area. Ah, it's a, it's a shambles guys. Has anybody tried to... to redo the floors in a foolish furni fully furnished house we've got like parts of our lounge room in here parts of a bit of everything everywhere look i've even got like a bird standing in a doorway with no door attached to the door frame um true building site <laughs> monty won't be happy that he's in a bedroom he's normally out in the uh living quarters with us all we could try and get all of that might as well try Clean it up a bit while I'm here. Man, you kind of forget how deep this tank is until you try to use something like a siphon. Um, I had a little discus pass away and these are the bones from it. Gonna take the um what do you call it with it. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute guys. Alright guys, I pretty much got the tank drained. Um a, a trick when it gets to the low parts, I use a four millimeter line. It's got like a straight riser on it. Um it does take a while, yes it's not fast, but I just can't be bothered getting in there with a the sponge and a bucket. Um I think I've accounted for every fish. The problem with planted tanks, like a non-planted tank, as the water gets low, it gets easier to catch the fish. A planted tank, as the water gets lower, it gets harder to catch the fish. Um, so I'm actually okay thinking about pulling the substrate out when I go to move it back and um, gluing some siliconing in some glass dividers for the substrate so that way if I plant like the vallus at the back it can't grow past the divider but I, I don't know I think it might just jump over the divider so drop a comment if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea um there's definitely a lot there's a few plant gurus that watch my channel I can hear someone flapping around I think it's a cory at this stage there might be one or two cory left I probably should put the camera down and try and find it. Alright guys, it's been a couple of hours. I filled the tank back up. I'm not really sure where I left off to be honest. Um, so I've tiled where the tank lives. Um, obviously there's a pipe coming out of the wall so I'm going to have to drill a hole in the skirting. My idea is to drill a hole like the exact size of that hose in the skirting. And then if I ever get rid of this tank, I only have to patch like a 15, 16 millimeter hole in the skirting rather than replacing the skirting. So that's my plan with that. I'd love to like chase the wall and move the power point behind it, but it's just not really an option at the moment. Um, there's, we've got some pot plants that is, that like, was like millimeters off fitting down the side of here when it was set up before so I might actually um, just bump the tank over literally like five millimeters so I can fit the pot plant there and um, it'll clean up that corner a lot 
Um, the other option is um, my missus asked me if I would build a wine rack for that corner. So that's also on the cards. Um, obviously the hardest part would just be matching the color of this cabinet. Anyway guys, um, I'm going to wrap this one up there. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this one today or tomorrow. So, um, Boxing Day. Sorry guys, I didn't upload a video. Um, I had YouTube open. I had the upload ready to go. I'd even clicked the video, but I hadn't selected one of the criteria, which is like, is this made for kids? And I must have got sidetracked. And I woke up this morning, opened YouTube, and it was like, do, and it was like in the upload screen. That's why there was a really early upload this morning. It was actually meant to be the day before, but I'm probably going to just upload this tomorrow because it doesn't hurt having one day off, does it? So Boxing Day was my day off, and I've already uploaded one today, so that means this is going to be tomorrow's video. But anyway, you guys don't need to know about all that jazz. You've already seen that there's a video missing. Um, if you like this video, but give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.